uh, welcome to Snowflake Yen. In this video, I will walk through you uh, to the Snowflake user interface. So this is called a Snowflake console. If you see top right corner, which is displaying your name, so you you can see the change password, switch role, preferences, and logout. So by default, you will be assigned with all these roles, account admin, sys admin, public, security admin, and user admin. Snowflake is a role-based tool. So it is completely driven by the roles. So each role has its significance. So we will talk about the roles in the coming videos. So currently all these roles are assigned to Snowflake user. So I can switch between each role by choosing it. So now I have chosen account admin. So all the privileges associated with account admin can be make use of it. So if you see the top session, so there are uh, different options like databases tab where you can view the default databases and whereas custom databases you have created. So by default, you will, your account will be created with these default databases, Snowflake, UtilDB, DemoDB and Snowflake sample data. Warehouses. So warehouses is nothing but a computing power that is used for querying the data from the databases. This is what we have discussed in the architecture video. So if you see the warehouse here, the name of the warehouse is Compute Warehouse and it's of size of small. So as we have discussed, we you can vertically increase and as well as horizontally you can increase your warehouses. So here you have created a warehouses with small, extra small. So this is a starting size. And if you see the status of warehouse, it is in suspended state. So this warehouse is defined as auto suspended with 10 minutes what does it mean so if you don't use this warehouse for 10 minutes then it automatically goes to the suspended state and it is auto resume indicates so when you try to query some data from database using this warehouse it automatically starts so all your warehouses details you can see in this warehouse section Worksheets. So worksheets are nothing but the queries whatever you use to pull the data and whatever commands you type everything will be stored here. So it is an auto save. So and you can see all your worksheets even though you log out and log in again. History. History session is nothing but it will show all the commands what you executed on this account see here these are the different commands executed earlier on this account so you can see all your L history queries here account so account can be only viewed when your role is account admin using this account you can view all the account level settings like what is the usage of your warehouses how many warehouses you have and your building details and users what how what users are created for this account and what roles 
or created in this, in this account. So if you have created any custom roles, you can view here and policies. Policies like you can create a network policies stating that only this particular IP addresses has to connect to my account. So all those kind of policies you can write in this network policy sessions. Sessions. So where these sessions under sessions you can see whoever can who have connected to your account and what time they have connected with what driver they have connected all these details you can see under the session resource monitor so once you create a resource monitor you can get an alerts stating how much um, credits have been used by your uh, warehouse so all those kind of information you can configure here so reader accounts enable providers so there is a shares concept here sharing the data with other accounts um, with other other accounts in other regions so whoever have the read access to your shares all those kind of information you can see here okay okay so whenever you switch your roles here the databases to who to whom you have access will be displayed in the left hand so let us see here so this is a snowflake database this is one more util database this is a demo database So this snowflake sample data which is snowflake sample data database has these many schemas these are all schemas so let us look into any of the schemas so these have these many data tables So this is how you will query the data from the databases of tables. So now I'm querying a data from a table called call center, which is in a schema called TPC DS SF100 TCL. And this schema is in Snowflake sample data. So the one more way of executing is use role sysadmin so instead of going here and switching between the roles you can use this command use role sysadmin and you can switch the roles use the database sample data use schema Select star from concept. So if now if you execute this, I will get the same result. There it is. Okay. So now in this video we learned how to switch between different roles where to see the databases where to see warehouses and what are worksheets and what information you can see in the history tab how to switch the roles Within, within using the switch role option as well as using the command and all the options available on the account section 
like usage, billing, users, roles, policies, session. So one thing to note here, only the account admin can see this accounts tab and he can only view the user's roles information. Okay. So if you go here in the help, you can download the software. Snow's Snow SQL is the Snowflake command line interface. So the software for Snow SQL or the JDBC, ODBC driver, Python components, everything you can download from this session. Hope you like this video. Thanks for please subscribe to uh, Snowflake again. Thank you.